is nothing, nothing impossible. No, there is nothing, nothing too difficult. Because you're with me, with me. I am not afraid. Nothing is too hard for you. chocolate chip cookies. Yum! There's just one teeny tiny problem. My mom said I could take this thank you card to Miss Kathy Sue's house all by myself this time. But I've never been next door without my mom. I'm a little afraid to go by myself. That's why I came up with the perfect way to get this thank you card to Miss Kathy Sue's. I'm going to tape it to my wind up robot. Now I'll just need to wind him up and see how far he goes. He's going, he's going. Go, robot, go! No, don't stop. You're supposed to keep going. How am I going to get this thank you card to Miss Kathy Sue's without you? Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Poppy. Who? Who? Looks like that robot isn't working for you. Hey, Ollie. I'm trying to get my robot to take this thank you card over to Miss Kathy Sue's house because I'm too afraid to go by myself. 
That will take some courage. It's true, but I know who can give it to you. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Oz got a Bible story for me and you. <gasps> well, hello, hello. I'm Aisha. Welcome to my cupcake food truck. Do you want to see my latest creation? Ta-da! <laughs> they are my jump rope cupcakes. See, there is a fun jump rope on top. Aren't they neat? These remind me of today's story. Are you ready for a story? If you're ready, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three, tell me a story. Okay, this true story from the Bible is about the city of Jericho and this is God's army led by a man named Joshua. Joshua knew God wanted his army to go battle the city of Jericho, so he sent two spies to go check it out. Wait, where'd they go? Does anyone see sneaky spies? You saw them. Where? Over there? Over here? Wait, wait. You saw them again? Where? Over there? <gasps> I see them now. They are very sneaky. <laughs> Wait, now what are they doing? Oh, they're going to Jericho to see what they can see. Someone's coming. That was a close one. Those soldiers looked mad, didn't they? I think they were looking for the spies. You guys should hide. Can you find someone courageous enough to help you hide? Look. It's Rahab. She'll help you hide. Hiding the spies took a lot of courage because so many soldiers in the city were looking for them. And if they knew Rahab was hiding them, she would be in big trouble. But Rahab knew that these men were friends of God. She knew that God could do amazing things. That made her have courage. So Rahab helped the spies get out of the city. The spies told Rahab to hang a red rope outside of her window, and when God's army came back to the city, they would make sure Rahab and her family were safe. Sometime later, Joshua and God's army came to battle the city of Jericho. They saw the red rope and they remembered Rahab. The army made sure Rahab and her family were kept safe. God was with Rahab all along, and God is always with you too. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who is always with you? God is always with me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who is always with you? God is always with me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. God gave Rahab courage, and he will give it to you and me, too. Thanks, Sally. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, God gave Rahab the courage to help the spies and keep them safe. God was with Rahab, and God is always with us, too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it! Good! Since God is with me, I know he can give me the courage to go over to Miss Kathy Sue's house all by myself this time. Bye, Mr. Robot. You're a lot of fun, but God is with me. See you all next time. The Lord our God to help us. 2 Chronicles 32, 8. 
we have the Lord our God to help us. Second Chronicles 32.8.